So other than looking up at the sky and fantasizing, the globe only has psychological methods for getting you to believe, i.e. being gaslit by the ignorant general populace into going along with the insane delusion that we live on a cannibal flying for a vacuum. It's all psychological. But here's the thing, it means nothing when you stand on the things that are simply true, which is why I won't entertain or stand by anything that can't be demonstrated in a scientific manner. That way I don't put myself out there to be debunked by anyone. The only debunked videos that you'll see regarding me will be men, believe it or not, grown men defending airfix models and CGI fails and harness fails. This is all the globagandists offer up is defense of absurdities. They can't even provide real world demonstrable science. So it's all psychological to get you to go along with the delusion that is the globe, okay? But of course, when you stand on the things that are simply true that can be demonstrated, like myself, the power of the gaslighting is diminished to zero because they have nothing. It's water off a duck's back. Now here's a prime example. Years ago, I've gone into the canteen at work. It's full of brickies. I could sense the atmosphere as soon as I walked in. So I already knew it was coming. One guy with a really cheeky grin, here drive, what's this about you thinking the air's flat? And the whole canteen erupted with laughter. I spent two or three minutes destroying the straw man misrepresentations that resided in these bricklayers' heads, of course put there by the mainstream. Once that had been swatted out of the way, I gave the lads a few prime real-world examples of what I stood by. Tower cranes, plumb bobs, air pressure systems cannot reside next to us vacuum without solid separation. Large standing bodies of water, of course, do not have the ability to display convexity upon its surface. And of course, the brickies and all the tradesmen use plumb bobs and levels, so I highlighted that as well. And of course, the tower crane. You can't have cranes being dead still on a cannonball that's doing ludicrous speeds in all different directions. Some of these cranes upside down in relation to me. Clearly ridiculous and scientifically impossible. Excuse me a sec. <coughs> and as a result, the canteen, over the course of about four or five minutes, went from one of mockery to one of dead silence. You could hear a pin drop as I'd gone from being mocked by this group of in, uh, ignorant bricklayers to suddenly the canteen's dead quiet. I've got 20 tradesmen just staring at me like mannequins, waiting, not knowing what to do or what to say. I kind of left it at that, walked out, and that all the way walking up the path, I could hear the utter silence from the canteen, as of course, the penny had dropped like a brick falling from the top of the scaffolding and landing on one of these bricklayers' heads. Over the course of the next few weeks, I was asked various questions regarding our realm about what I stand by, and as a result of that, quite a lot of men on that site actually woke up to the globe line. One of them was actually doing an open university course can't remember if it was, it might have even been astrophysics. He still continued the course, but had a bit of a rude awakening regarding the conversations me and him had. He could display the honesty to stand by the things that were true. And that's all I do. And when you stand by those things that are true, no amount of gaslighting can, can put you off the path. It can, it doesn't work because the things you stand by attested and verified by all, even the people that are trying to gaslight you. And that only leaves one thing for these people then, to lie and misrepresent. And what they do then, these are the online representatives I should say, what they do then is expose themselves even more. They expose themselves from being just wrong to now dishonest. So it doesn't matter how this plays out, when you stand by the things that are fundamentally true, all you're going to do is expose the globe and the representatives online, whether it's their ignorance or whether they're dishonest. Do not fall for the psychological trap by being brought into the insane herd of cannonball delusionists just to feel comfortable. You should feel incredibly comfortable stood on the ground that is fundamentally true. And for me, it's the three fundamentals, large standing bodies of water, tower cranes and air pressure systems cannot be right next to a vacuum without solid separation. 
three scientific fundamental facts that can be tested and verified by every human on earth that prove scientifically the globe is impossible. So no amount of gaslighting will ever change that. It will never change my opinion. They've tried every tactic and it's failed. Why? Because I stand by the things that are simply true and so should you. I know a lot of Globies watch these videos and I know a lot of people on the fence watch these videos. Guys, if you stand by the things that are true, there's no better way to be empowered by what is rather than be fooled easily by putting aside the things that are true and adopting idiocy based on assumptions, silly stories, mathematics, cartoons. And when I say mathematics regarding the globe, it's literally mathematical storytelling. That's it. Backed up by cartoons and explanations. The globe can only get you psychologically. And when you stand on the things that are true, it's, it has nothing. This crane is doing my nutting this morning. Like I said, it only has the psychological option. And if you're strong of mind and you can be honest with yourself, the globe's clearly ridiculous. And this is why it's failing day by day by day online as many people are waking up and I have to thank the globe representatives the propagandists because you're now speeding up the process for me by lying and misrepresenting my claims thus exposing yourself and the globe even more so keep up the good work chaps no amount of gaslighting from ignorant individuals or groups should ever sway you from the truth if anything you should correct them just like I did with a room full of brickies. Total riding high on their Dunning-Kruger of globe insanity, which quickly came crashing down, back down to demonstrable reality, as the whole room, whole canteen of brickies were converted from moronic cannonball delusionists to direct realists. Sorry, the globe never was true. It was just something that had been put in your imagination you had been convinced and a little bit of a psychological op to get you to go along with the delusion had been implemented but the game is up the lies are unraveling the truth is the truth if you stand by it it's obvious no amount of psychological pantomime is ever going to get you to sway from the path that is the truth the game is quite clearly up lads and all you need to do is gain control of your mind Stay true to what is and do not, and I mean this, do not give in to feelings of discomfort if people through their ignorance and their silly mantras are making you feel uncomfortable for standing by the things that are true. Correct them. Even if they don't see it, you have planted a seed for when they have a moment of clarity to grasp it, possibly. It's all in the mind, guys. When you've got control of your mind, anything's possible. Have a good one anyway. Cheers, guys.